hi guys you all are welcome back to my channel my name is Paulette I'm a youtuber based here in the UK so it's so sunny today very sunny I'm in the city I want to ask people who live in Milton Keynes what they love about Milton Keynes and what they don't like about Milton Keynes so stay tuned this video I know it's going to be challenging <laughs> I'm already shy already <laughs> feeling so shy but let's see how it's going to go so stay tuned as we go around and ask so a few people what they love about Milton Keynes and what they don't like about Milton Keynes. The food here is nice. What's that? The food here. The food is good. Okay, the people are nice. Okay. So what don't you like about Milton Keynes? Sorry? Literally everywhere. Ah, you mean it's dirty? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. Okay. But how long have you been here? Long time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank and my name is Peter. And how long have you been living in Milton Keynes? Twenty-five years. Woo! That's a long time, yes, right? Too long. <laughs> wow. So, Mr. Peter, I'd like to know what you love about Milton Keynes. Just one thing you love about Milton Keynes. There are lots of facilities for children mm -hmm. and old age pensioners like myself. Mm -hmm. It's a friendly place. Mm -hmm. There are some lovely areas, mm -hmm. and like everywhere else, some areas a bit not quite so nice. Okay. But mainly, it's all right. <laughs> now we have a shopping centre that's quite big, based <laughs> in Europe. Okay. But I don't go there very often. Okay. Oh, I do get a bus pass, so I can get free bus rides. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us one thing you don't love about Milton Keynes. The bus service. It's diabolical. <laughs> They don't turn up very often mm -hmm. and they like having days off and where I'm at the moment we use some bus service mm -hmm. which has now been disappeared, gone. <laughs> so so the they... transport the, the, the transport system in Milton Keynes is not a good one, right? That's rubbish. Yeah. Aviva have just take, had the contract taken off them. Oh. But we don't know what's going to happen yet because it's not been sorted. Okay. But Thank hopefully you. Hopefully it will get better. Yeah, I hope so. But we do have Connect, MK Connect, yeah. which is a minibus service yeah. for old age pensioners okay. and anybody else. But that's okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter. My pleasure. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so, can you just tell us your name and how long you've been living in Milton Keynes? Hi, I'm Marian. I've been living almost 16 years in Milton Keynes. Wow. Milton Keynes is a very nice place to live, especially wow. if you have a family mm -hmm. and children. It's a lot of green space, like you can see. Mm -hmm. You can ha you have a lot of parks. Okay. It's a lot of work places. You can find a lot of work. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's nice schools for the kids. They can go to. Yeah, nice okay. shopping center where you can buy lots of stuff. Wow. So I want you to tell me one thing you don't like about Milton Keynes. I don't like one thing about Milton Keynes. It's all the roundabouts. Oh. You take the kids to school and you have to wait and oh traffic. roundabout yeah yes, that's okay. the only thing i would say is bad okay everything else is nice wow thank you nice so much as well wow thank you so much mary no marianne thank you right. bye. bye so can you just tell us your name and how long you've been living in milton Keynes? Mm. my name is Tammy, but i think i've been in nk more than 15 years wow so tell us one thing you love about Milton Keynes. One thing, ah, I have a lot of things I love. About I need just Milton one, Keynes. just one, just one. Yeah. Okay. One of the things I love about Milton Keynes is the green. So the green, you know, everywhere in MK is beautiful. I know that at the moment the lot of new building coming up, even despite of that, it's still beautiful. But people always say one thing they hate about Milton Keynes is the roundabout. Let me tell you the benefit of the roundabout. The roundabout, we have about 103 roundabouts in Milton Keynes. 103, it's a lot. But the beauty of it is, most MK road, it's vertical and horizontal. If you miss your road, let's say you're an A5, you miss the road. Before you get to a turning, it will take a long time. But if you are in Milton Keynes, the roundabout actually take you in a way that you can go back in a vertical horizontal vertical to turn back to where you're going so the roundabout is one of the best part of Milton Keynes when I go to London and I miss the road sometimes I'm driving 15 minutes to turn back 
wow. in Milti Keynes. Maybe three, four minutes. You're already back on the road you missed. So I love the roundabout. I love okay. the beautiful things we have in Milti Keynes. We have quirky things like the cow. You know, some of them in Ingustall, you know, in uh, Wolfton on the Green, Kansu area. We have um, Formula One. You know, we have the racing place in Milton Keynes. We have indoor, you know, indoor here yeah, activity in MK. There are quite a lot of things to do. In oh, now I would like to know what I like to know what you don't like about Milton Keynes. One thing. One thing that I don't like about Milton Keynes. Oh my God, I I, I don't. Well, the bus. If you're taking the bus, it's going to take an hour to get to most places, you know, from one end to the other end. But if you're driving, it's 15 minutes, you know. The only thing I don't like... So the transport bus. system is yeah, poor, right? Not the transport system, because it's only bus. Okay, just the bus. Just the bus. We've got just buses here anyway. If you're driving, it's 15 minutes from one end to the other end. Okay. Yeah, but if you're on the bus, you can be staying one hour. To get from one hand to the other end. Okay. So I think it, it will be the boss, but I don't take the boss as much anyway. Okay. Thank you very much, Demi. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> you just tell us how long you've been living in Milton okay. Keynes. So my business has been in Milton Keynes for five years, but I've only been living in Milton Keynes for two and a half years. Okay. What do I love about Milton Keynes? I love that it's so easy to get everywhere. Everywhere is ten minutes away. And before I moved here, I didn't really want to move here, but now I'm here, I absolutely love it. I say everything's 10 minutes away. The Redway paths are beautiful to cycle with the kids. There are parks everywhere, there's green space everywhere. I do, I agree. I say I didn't want to move here, but now I'm here. Like, absolutely so, love what it. don't you like about my thinking? <laughs> One thing. Probably what I didn't like about it was the was the roundabouts. Oh, okay. but it's actually it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. No wow. Zoom across. Thank you. I love, I love yeah. Thank thing. you very much. <laughs> So, yeah, we have another beautiful lady. So, tell us how long you've been living in Milton Keynes. I have lived in Milton Keynes for past six to seven years now. Okay. So, can you tell us one thing you love about Milton Keynes? Um, one thing I love about Milton Keynes is the, a park. Mm -hmm. They've got a lot of lovely park for the children here in Milton Keynes. Okay. Is that, is that it? Good. Yeah. So, what don't you like about Milton Keynes? Oh... The houses here are so expensive. Aww. It's killing me. Especially uh, when you go to work uh, at the end of the month, you receive your salary. Before you know it, everything is gone, gone for, rent, for huh? the rent. It's crazy. The government should please do something about it. It's making us go insane. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so So, can you just tell us how long you've been living in Milton Keynes? Um, Okay. Wow. Oh. Wow. So can you tell us one thing you love about Milton Keynes? I to be honest, I have many things I love about this place. But if you say one thing, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go straight to the point. Number one, the environment is just suitable for children to raise children. It's just come area. Um it's not where you say that the, the place is so crowded, unlike um London. If you want to raise your child, this is the particular place, a, a, a good place for you because the environment is just conducive, has just said, oh, this is a safe place for children. Um, can I say more, actually, because I so much love okay, this place. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Milton Keynes is a fantastic place that you will see people that, if you see their face, they are saying you are welcomed already. You have friendly people all around Milton Keynes, that out of my experience, I've seen that. And uh, the way the the way they built their houses, as in you have you have your own freedom in your own home, in your own abode, in your own area. For instance, I came from Germany. We lived in flats in Germany, but here you have your own house. In fact, I would say that our accommodation here is better than when we, when where we came from when we were in Germany. Because here you have, look at, we have front garden, we have back garden, you have your house entirely. Nobody's gonna say um, you are disturbing, your children is disturbing them. You are in your own house. Again, less traffic. Wow. I love that bit. I, I love it so much because sometimes you will feel like, oh, you, you, you have to rush to work or you have to rest somewhere. And if, for instance, in Germany, you can't do that. You have to 
live a, a lot of time ahead mm -hmm. for example, because number one you go, you, 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 you're going to meet um, traffic lights mm -hmm. lots of traffic but here Less traffic less lights. Traffic. Yeah, that's true. Less traffic. I love that. Bit oh, that's so great. Much. So, what don't you love about Milton Keynes? Um, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> sometimes some areas the environment doesn't look great. To be honest, <laughs> I've actually had a picture I snapped some time, and someone was asking me, "Oh, did you travel to Africa?" <laughs> and I was like, "Gosh." <laughs> Is that the, all the amenities are there, <laughs> but the environment in some places mm. are not that great. Mm. You know, that's the only thing I don't like here. Otherwise, I would say I almost love everything about New oh, Thank you so much. You're Thanks a lot. Welcome. Bye. Bye. I want you to. I want to know how long you've been living in Milton Keynes. 2011. That's like five, uh, 2011. That's like 12 years now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, what do you like about Milton Keynes? Just one thing. It's just the people. The people? Yeah. Wow. That's good to know. There's a mixture know. of people here. And, okay. You know, I've, I've done all right. I've settled in. I didn't, because I'd no one here when I came. So okay. I didn't know anyone. So I've gradually built up friendships. You okay. Know, just, passing though the, not like you know solid but you know I've, I've managed to settle and be comfortable enough okay you know, with cause it's, with the help of people yeah okay. I think if, if you so you think the people are welcoming is that what you're trying yeah. to say okay yeah so what don't you like about Milton Keynes the transport is I think it could <laughs> oh, be better oh yeah I know everyone <laughs> I is saying be the transport um, system is really annoying yeah I really think the government here, I think there is um, a bit of, I don't know how to put it, like, there ain't the, the, the same support, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I think people are struggling so much in, in the community with, you know, um, especially I think through, there's a lot of families that probably don't have you know a full family mm -hmm. maybe don't have husbands or wives okay. and they're, they're doing it on their own and there is so much um, false information sometimes given to them and they're struggling they're probably the wrong you know trying to get food from food banks or mm -hmm. they're pressured in to get in jobs and maybe they don't want to put the kids into childcare because of how much it oh, cost yeah, them yeah, and even costly. though the government will help you don't know if that is going to be enough yeah you know? that's true and there's so many families struggling oh thank you so much thanks a lot thank yeah. you okay. i really appreciate bye bye oh this is another beautiful lady who lives here in milton Keynes. can you just tell us your name and how long you've been living in milton Keynes? my name is jimai mosawote and i've been here for almost 20 years wow 20 yeah so, 2003. Wow, 20 years. Almost. So, my question goes to you. I've got two questions. What, tell me one thing you love about Milton Keynes. Everything. Before one. it was a quiet place, but now it's not that quiet, but it's okay. I, one thing you love. What, what, <laughs> what, what, what is still keeping you here? Tell me that one thing that is still keeping you here. Before it was a shopping mall. When you go not to the before, shopping. I'm talking of what is still keeping you. What do you still love about this place? Oh. Just imagine somebody wants to move here. The person wants to know that one thing that you know. The shopping mall. Mm -hmm. What when happened? you go to shopping, you don't stress yourself. Okay. From here to mm -hmm. here, you know some places when you go to shopping, mm -hmm. you have to come out from the shopping mall mm -hmm. and go to another shop. Mm -hmm. But here, all the shops are the same place. Yeah, together. That's yes. why you shopping because. <laughs> because I. And shopping. what do you hate about Milton Keynes? Milton Keynes. I don't hate anything about Milton Keynes. Are you serious? Yeah. You don't have any one thing that you say, no, this thing, hmm, I wish they can change this. As for me, I don't have anything, to be honest. Okay. Okay, thank you. And if you're in Milton Keynes, this shop is located in the market. You can find beautiful hair, beautiful cream, body and hair cream. In fact, just ask for, I'll put the name on the screen. She has wigs, everything. Check her out at Milton Keynes Market. So... 
Bye. Ah, <laughs> so guys, I'm done with the interview. It wasn't easy. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And uh, like I said, it wasn't easy. So help me share the video. It was so challenging, really. A lot of people said no, but what can I do? I'm happy I could get a few people to do the interview with me. Thank you all so much. May God bless you. And please share the video. It might help one or two people. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.